My name is Bob Bakert. I'm with Jazz Guitar today, and we are here with Jimmy Bruno. And we're going to talk about something real specific. There's a photograph. It's Dinner at the Pasta Amici in LA from 1983, photo by Jimmy Bruno. And there's some pretty famous people in that picture. Yeah. And uh, included in them is Frank Zappa, Tommy Tedesco, Jack Rinaldi, Joe Pass, you, Charlie Chiaranza. Chiaranza, excuse That's me. That's who owned the restaurant. And John Paisano. Yes. I mean, we just want you to talk about that night and what you can remember. Well, uh, all right. Charlie Chiaranza was the guitar player in the Baja Marimba band. He did some studio work back in the day. And that's the connection between Tommy and him. So he buys this restaurant with a relative of his. I forgot that guy's name. And he says, hey, Tommy, why don't you come up and play, you know, in the restaurant? Most well, we played outside. You know, what, L.A. had great weather. So, OK, so that's that's how it started. I wish I could remember the night. I think it was every Wednesday night or every Thursday. Night. It was in the middle of the week. And so it got around that, you know, we were playing, got different guys were coming in to sit in and he. All those people had been there on their own one time or another. It was just an accident that they all showed up one night. <laughs> That's a hell of a night. Yeah, it really was. And, you know, see, Tommy was there because he, that restaurant had great Italian food. So he, he would go there because he could eat. Mm -hmm. And all, a lot of students from GIT would come and sit in, you know, and, and then Joe Pass, I mean, he wasn't anything like I thought he would be. You know, it was like, uh, it, it, he was like, uh, be, if you talk to him, you don't know who he is. And this guy's a, he drives a truck. He's a truck driver. <laughs> uh, I had met him before, but right. I really got to know him that night because we exchanged phone numbers and I became friends with him. And Frank Zappa, uh, this is a funny story. We had three guitars. Myself, Tommy Tedesco, and John Koenig. And mm -hmm. we were going to do a live record at GIT. There's three guitars. So he asked guys to write some tunes, right? Write some right. arrangements. I wrote one or two. I think I wrote two tunes on there. John Koenig wrote something, and Tommy, and he asked Frank Zappa, hey, Frank, why don't you write something, All right? One afternoon, he comes over to Tommy's house, with this music, right? That was mm -hmm. like impossible to play. And let me tell you, I mean, even Tommy had a hard time and he could read anything. And it was like, I just said, you know, Tommy, I, I can't, I can't say read this, you know? <laughs> so Tommy says, boy, he says, you know, uh, Frank, we'll go, let's these guys go home and me and him says, we'll practice it because then you could hear it the right way. And Frank Zappa says to him, well, what do you think so far? Tommy Desco says, Sounds like shit, Frank. <laughs> that, all right. So we go back and we practice that music that Frank so He says, so far, Frank, it sounds like shit, but we couldn't <laughs> play. So we practice it for a week, two weeks. We come back, right? It's not there yet. And Tommy says, Jesus Christ, you sure you're playing your part right? And I says, yeah. He says, well, go ahead. Let me see your part. Play it. Same, same thing with John Carter. Yeah, we play it right. And Tommy says, boy, it still sounds like shit. <laughs> And then Frank Zappa came, you know, I mean, I, it was like, you know, geez, man, well, I don't, you know, I, I never met anybody like from the uh, pop or rock world. And I'm thinking, what's he going to say? And he, so we played it for him and Tommy got the music, folded it up. says, Frank, still sounds like shit. Sounds like bees. <laughs> you know? And it, it really was, it really was like, it was bizarre. It was just bizarre. Then he became a fan of the, this three guitar thing. And uh, like I said, that night, they, everybody just showed up, you know, and sat in. Frank Zappa actually sat in and played Lover Man with me. Wow. Yeah. You wow. know, he, you know he, he, he was nothing. He was 180 degrees from his persona, his public persona, the man himself. Nothing like that. No, well, I mean, you know, Frank Zappa, what do you think? I mean, to me, it was like, wow, this guy must be did too much acid in the 70s. You know? <laughs> I mean, stuff like that. I mean, you think yeah. 
he was totally straight. He didn't drink. He didn't take it. He didn't even take an aspirin. You know? And I asked him one time, I said, well, I said, you know, what is that? I said, I mean, you, you wrote, don't eat yellow snow. They just laughed. He says, well, he says, that's just my persona. He says, that's a, That's not me. You know? And very conservative guy. And um, what he really wanted to do was write legitimate music for an orchestra. And he did get to do it. 24 track recording studio in his, in his house. I heard the tape of it. And very difficult music, but it, it did sound good. Was, was Frank playing in genre? I mean, was he playing? Yes. No, no. Just playing like jazz? That. Yeah. Yeah. He could play yeah. jazz. Yes, he could. Yes, yeah. he could. He didn't, know, he didn't know a lot of the tunes that we were playing, but that... Right. You know, Tommy said, well, what do you know? What do you want to play? And he says, right. well, I think, I think I remember Lover Man. And that's what we played. When he took his solos, he was right there playing. <laughs> no, hanging, it didn't. hanging yeah. with the guys and uh, and contributing and, uh, you know. Absolutely. No not, description pedals, nothing. Yeah. He played, not you know, not, uh, not getting lost in the sauce, as I used to say years ago. Right. You know, he was no, there. I mean, solid. Shocking, you know. At that time, you know, um, there was not a big jazz scene in Los Angeles at all. Not the kind of music that I was playing. So um, it, it, these were all like studio players that I guess started out as jazz players and got, got tired of like living like a rat. So they moved out there to do studio work. But uh, most of guitar players there were kind of frustrated uh, jazz players. So how was the pizza that night? Oh, the pizza was great. But you know, <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.